Well, hello. You're probably not expecting to see me or to hear from me. Uh, you probably think that uh, I'm away and on sabbatical. Uh, well, yes and no, and then yes again. Uh, we have been away. We had a lovely week in the uh, Scottish borders, and we came back yesterday. And tomorrow, the 1st of November, uh, will be the beginning of a two-month sabbatical. But today, uh, this last day of October, is a day of normal service. Normal service uh, from me is resumed just for the one day. I do want to say thank you to folk in the Northern Baptist Association for the privilege of holiday. We're grateful to God for that, aren't we? Lovely opportunity that uh, some of us are privileged to have and uh, the opportunity of sabbatical uh, and, and to rest and reflect. Uh, these are important times for us as an association and there are some important days in this coming week. On Tuesday, our association council will be meeting to think about future appointments. Pray for them, pray for wisdom and for vision and for clarity in their thinking together. And next Saturday, the 7th of November, uh, we have an assembly via Zoom and a meeting uh, particularly to engage in thinking about the future and future appointments. Again, pray for that assembly. And if you can be there uh, to encourage and share in that discussion, that will be great. Uh, but pray for them and for all who gather and for what comes after that as we look to the future. It is, uh, and we've heard this word several times, it is a time of transformation. Uh, and with that comes a sense of anticipation and excitement about a new chapter. Uh, but transformation is not just something that we are waiting for. It has already happened and is happening and we look for it to go on and to develop even further. There are many things that have happened in our association life that are very different to what they were <clears throat> before. We have ministers now training at Cranmer. After years of longing and talking, they came to, to a particular point. And I remember when we got to that point, thinking of the words in Esther, uh, for such a time as this and as an association we engage in a partnership with Northern Baptist College in order to enable people to uh, train for Baptist ministry at Camera Hall in Durham. It came to fruition and has transformed us already in certain ways. Uh, we've recently appointed a new moderator Tony Ruddle and even more recently a new uh, treasurer Gavin Monument and we're looking next year to also appoint a new safeguarding officer with thanks to Lynn for all that she has done over the years. And we're exploring new ways of encouraging our prayer life together as an association. So we look to the future with confidence that a God who has led us is leading us and will lead us on. We celebrate uh, the transformation that's happened. We engage with the transformation that's happening and we anticipate with excitement what will happen. So my apologies for not being with you next week and trust and pray that you'll have a good and fruitful time. Uh, and I'm grateful that during this time of sabbatical uh, that Paul and Elaine are there and others uh, to help you and, and be with you. Look to them and uh, they will either help you themselves or they will find people who can help you. So what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to finish writing uh, a review of a book, this book, about uh, some sermons by a man called Andrew Fuller, who was the first uh, secretary of the Baptist Missionary Society, a big friend of uh, William Carey. And uh, this book of his sermons that he gave at um, uh, various inductions or ordinations comes down, boils down to four basic things that I think apply for all of us. Love God, love his word, love his people and love his work. But I'm also going to be uh, thinking about the nature of what it means to be a regional minister. And, and one of the books I will look to is a book called Episcope, uh, which is a Greek word, which simply means oversight. It has a chapter by Roy Searle. Uh, chapter by uh, former BU president and a former regional minister colleague, uh, Diane Tidbrell. And I want to reflect on what is the nature of regional ministry. Uh, I'm unable to really travel anywhere because of the COVID pandemic. So I'm going to have a few 
uh, Zoom, Skype, phone conversations with folk, uh, talking about uh, what they're doing, mission possibilities, uh, talking about the nature of regional ministry and even the nature of retirement. And so I suppose I will anticipate the months uh, leading to my own transformation into retirement and the next chapter God has for me. So God bless you. And although it feels a little bit early to say this, happy Christmas and a very blessed new year. I look forward to seeing with you, serving with you, sharing with you uh, in January. God bless.